Next, the book of Obadiah, just one chapter in this book. Obadiah. The vision of Obadiah, thus says the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the nations. Arise, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made you small among the nations. You are greatly despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you, you who dwell in the cleft of the rock, whose dwelling is high, who says in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though you lift yourself up like the eagle, and though you set your nest among the stars, I will bring you down from there, saith the Lord. If thieves came to you, if robbers came by night, how you are cut off! Would they not have stolen until they had enough? If the grape-gatherers came to you, would they now leave some grapes? How the things of Esau are searched out! How his hidden things are sought out! All the men of your covenant have brought you to the border. The men who were at peace with you have deceived you and have overcome you. Those who eat your bread have laid a snare under you. There is no understanding in them. Shall I not in that day even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and understanding out of the mount of Esau, saith the Lord? And your mighty men, O Teman, shall be afraid, so that every one from the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Shame shall cover you for your violence against your brother Jacob, and ye shall be cut off forever. In the day that you stood on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried his forces away captive, and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even you were like one of them. But you should not have looked on the day of your brother, in the day that he became a stranger. Neither should you have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their ruin, nor should you have spoken proudly in the day of distress. You should have not entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, you should not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their possessions in the day of their calamity. Neither should you have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his who escape, nor should you have delivered up those of his who remained in the day of distress. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the nations. As you have done, it shall be done to you. Your reward shall return upon your own head. For as you have drunk upon my holy mountain, so all the nations shall drink forever. Yes, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be those who escape, and it shall be holy, and the house of Jacob shall have their own possessions. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau shall be for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and burn them up, and there shall be none remaining in the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. For those of the south shall possess the mountains of Esau, and those of the plain shall possess the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. And the captivity of this army of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto Zarephath. And the captivity of Jerusalem shall possess that which is in Sepharad, the cities of the south. And the deliverers shall come upon Zion to judge the mountain of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. That was the prophecy of Obadiah.